So here we're looking at the caudal rump area of a bovine. Okay, so we see the very nice large sciatic nerve here coming through the major ischiatic foramen here. And we see branches from the cranial gluteal artery coming through here. Now remember, in the bovine, it's different than the horse. So in the horse, we have the, the caudal gluteal artery coming off, giving off the cranial gluteal artery, and then continuing on down as the caudal gluteal. Remember, the internal iliac ends at the caudal gluteal and continues as the internal pudendal. Okay, in the bovine, that cranial gluteal comes off the internal iliac, and so the internal iliac goes much further caudally, and now here we can see the caudal gluteal coming off, and then it continuing as the internal pudendal. Okay? So remember that the internal iliac always terminates as the caudal gluteal and the internal pudendal, but in the horse and in the dog, that caudal gluteal came off way early, so we had a short internal iliac and a long internal pudendal, whereas in the bovine, the cranial gluteal comes off and the caudal gluteal comes off way back here. Okay, Here we can also see the pudendal nerve running with the internal pudendal artery. Okay.